Hey everybody, this is Remnant, and for my little boy in a band tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make that really guitar bass kind of sound that I did in my remix that sounds like, somewhat like... Yeah, so something like that. And before I actually continue on with this, I do have to say that the audio quality will be relatively terrible because I have no means of recording Ableton right now. I'm literally sticking my headset mic in my ear to record everything right now because my computer just absolutely hates me right now. That and for some reason it's running a little bit slower than normal because I'm running all sorts of stuff up here on my task bar. Everything is just cluttered right now, so it's going to be slightly glitchy and laggy here and there, but we just got to deal with it because I've been waiting a week and a half to record this and any anyway so this synth is actually in a plugin that not very many people know about it's called Invector it's a free synth I forgot where I picked it up but it's this neat little basic kind of thing and the patch itself looks like this it's got eight oscillators on wave 7, 10, 3, 7, 14, 13, 5, and 5 octaves are at plus 2, plus 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, 0, and 0 these are slightly modified on octa or oscillator 1 and 3. And the XY things, these simple little XY pads, right? They modulate four different things, two different things, anything that they want to modulate. I have them on a three step, one, two, three, right here. Clock speed 0.22. Uh, level slightly up, filter in the middle, FM right about there. Going between oscillators 1, 2, 1, and 4. So it kind of has a. Um, I would play the synth by itself, but I have all these plugins that I have to turn off, so. Um, shoot, why aren't you playing? Oh, it's turned off. <laughs> it's kind of got the little slightly chorusy kind of phaser kind of feel. You can't really tell, but it's there. Same thing on this one. It's kind of slight movement between these. Just copy these parameters. I don't really have a whole lot of time to explain every single thing I did to every single patch. Just kind of look at what I did on the envelopes, the filters, their basic stuff. These aren't as important. Eight voices, slight glide, that's the volume level. There's a chorus, two filters, these, two LFOs, which are just below, halfway. This one's not on sync and it's off. This one's on a ramp down. Uh, these are just presets. It says it's a preset number one, but it's not. I have no clue how to work from the default patch, so I just used the of the initial initialized patch. So I'm using the default patch here to just change everything that's here. This is turned on, this is turned on going one to two. And that's the basic patch right there. First thing I did was chuck a wow filter on it, which I heavily modulate. I'll show you that. Um forgot which one it is. It's not that one, it's this one. Lots of modulation too, I love it. So you look at it, it's just every note it goes down and over here it just sounds cool. So that does that, it's just band reject on vowel mode, almost full resonance, goes from U umlaut to A, going this way, overdrive, almost full, master and mix all the way up. That's really all I did. Then we use on the side, I don't know what the default patch looks like, just I only messed with these things, I think trim is halfway, mix and these are off default, didn't mess with these. Gain is about 2, 230, these things, 9, 10, and then like 2, 230, 2, 230 just before 12. Didn't mess with these. I think the levels are only slightly tweaked. But that's what I'm aside. It's just a nice distortion unit that I use on a lot of stuff sometimes. Not as often now. I just use WoW and Guitar Rig-ish, something like that. So next thing I put on it to make it have that nice guitar tone was Guitar Rig. It's on preset 14, all the blink things, because I have, again, have no clue how this thing works exactly. I know it's just a whole bunch of stuff. So preset 14 just gives you these amps and controls and stuff. I left them pretty much default, just mixed with the master's trebles, gain, volume, yada yada. It's basically the default patch. Um, then I went through and EQ'd it. Whoopsie, what was it? Brought up these higher sections to give it a more guitar feel to it. Just did some basic EQing on it. And then another wow filter set to a low pass that I used right here. Oh, well, not mixer, no. Wow, cut off just to... fade out kind of thing and I use this in a live version too 
or I will if I ever get that recorded out. I use this filter a lot, a lot, a lot. It sounds so much cooler in the live version. I wish I could get to record it right now, but I can't. Um, so after all of those effects, I went through, put an audio track, resampled the whole thing. So that they're all audio tracks now. So I can cut this one out, come down here just because I want it to. Yeah, that's, that's not so much. So now that they're all audio tracks that came through on the audio, I added some reverb, basically the same thing, just mess with the decay time size and dry wet. I don't really ever touch anything else. And I chucked yet another wow filter with the low pass on it, just to add some overdrive to it, because I didn't want to use on the side on it, and this overdrive is really powerful and effective. Just low pass 12 overdrive with flight resonance. Everything else is the same, basically minus, you know, leveling it off. Why do I keep closing? Um, and then we have the EQ8 again, just blue sleeves up so I'm kind of control the lower ends, cut out the mid ends that I hate in guitars, and the compressor to bring up the volume and kind of keep the sound in control. And then once all that was done, I had them in a group so I could put more effects, so all I did was have a spectrum analyzer so I could see what to finish EQing, I ended up doing that. And that's basically the sound, I know I talked kind of fast, but once that was all done I just kind of, you know, MIDI clip is simple, there's no automation in it that I, yeah, I didn't do any clip automation, it's just all this wow filter, yada yada yada, and in the song, this is all I use, it's these, these two clips right here, well these two, oh shoot, don't do that, those two clips and this one's just automated to low pass at the bottom, and quick and concise guys, that's my tutorial pretty much, uh, Thanks for watching. I hope I win. I'm probably not, but you know, a guy can dream. So, uh, thanks and bye.